good morning students welcome to english class let us start with english one new chapter chapter 42 composition open page number 149 imaginative composition in the most interesting book alice adventures in wonderland by lewis carroll little alice falls through a rabbit hole and lands in a room there she finds a little bottle this is an interesting book called as alice adventures in wonderland alice falls through a rabbit hole and lands into a room and there she finds a small bottle on the table now let us see next what will happen let us read what happened to her alice could not go through the little door so she went back to the table hoping to find another key on it or a book of rules for shutting people up like telescopes instead she found a little bottle on it which certainly was not here before said alice and round its neck was a paper label with the words drink me beautifully printed on it in large letters what happened alice fell into the room and she could not open the door so she went in search of the key she found the key on the table and she also found a little bottle on the bottle there was a label written on it was drink me which was written in a large big letters it was all very well to say drink me but the wise little alice was not going to do that in a hurry she checked if the bottle was marked poison alice was not in a hurry to drink the bottle she checked whether the bottle was marked poison whether there was poison in the bottle so she did not drink in a hurry however it was not marked poison so the adventurous alice ventured to taste it and finding it very nice it had in fact a sort of mixed flavor of cherry tart custard pineapple roast turkey toffee and hot butter toast she very soon finished it off so there was uh, no poison in the bottle uh, it was not written poison uh, she found it very tasty and very nice so what she did she drank all the Uh, juice which was there in the bottle it was a mixture of custard pineapple roast turkey toffee and hot butter toast and alice drank it very fast what a curious feeling said alice i must be shutting up like a telescope when she drank that juice she was feeling very curious and so it was indeed she was not only 10 inches high and her face brightened up at the thought that now she was the right size for going through the little door into the lovely garden after drinking the juice she became only 10 inches high and her face became bright then she thought this is the right size for me to go into the little door and pass away into the lovely garden but alas for poor alice when she got to the door she found she had forgotten the little golden key and when she went back to the table for it she found she could not possibly reach it she could see it quite plainly through the glass she tried her best to climb up the leg of the table but it was too slippery and when she had tried herself out with trying she sat down and cried students you can see in the picture she became very small she was not able to reach the little golden key kept on the table she tried hard but she fell down so she sat down and cried let us move on to b main imagine you visited a zoo one day and found that you could understand what the animals were saying and you could talk to them what would the animals say to you what would you ask them how did your day at the zoo end 
Are you still able to talk to animals? If yes, how are you using this power to help the animals? So in this you have to write an uh, imaginative composition on how you can understand what the animals are saying and how can you help them out. Now let us write the imaginative composition. Last month I went on a school trip to a nearby zoo with my school friends and teachers. We were really amazed to see big and wild animals. We had a lot of fun there. We saw a tiger, giraffe, elephant, lion, hippopotamus, deer and many more animals. All the animals were in cages, though big but not big enough for a wild animal. I could see a gloom in the environment there. The animals were held captive. Captive means as a prisoner. The animals were in the cage and were not happy. At once I realized that I could hear what the animals were saying. I was able to understand their language. At first I felt a little strange and could not understand what was happening to me. My other friends and classmates were having fun and they did not hear any such voice. The animals had various problems. The lion did not like the cage. He wanted to be free and roam in the jungle, hunt for his prey on his own. The hippopotamus was finding the water in the pond not only dirty but too shallow. He wanted to swim in the river of jungles in fresh waters. The giraffe did not find the food palatable means tasty food. The zookeepers served dry leaves in a big bowl perpetually. He was reminded of the jungle where he used to eat green leaves directly from the trees and it was so much fun. When I went near the elephant tramping, he said that he doesn't like it. There, humans were exploiting him and using him for their own selfish purpose. The worst was that they parted the elephant from their baby. I was really sad after hearing all their problems. We as human beings are free to do whatever we want and but force our will on animals too. Why can't we leave the wild animals in their natural habitat and let them be free and happy? Well, in reality, we can do really very less for the animals kept in the zoo. At least we should not disturb them when we go to a zoo while they are sleeping and eating. On the other hand, we can also request zoo authorities to maintain a good environment for them. In case of stray animals like cat, birds and dogs, we can still do a lot more. We can put bowls filled with water and food on the streets and terrace so that they can easily have access to it. We should not tease them or hit them. We should stop children from throwing stones on them. In conclusion, every creature on earth has a right to live free and we should respect this and abide by it. Students, this is my imaginative composition. Go through this properly and write this in your class workbook. Now, let us move on to short story writing. All of us like listening to stories. We also like to read interesting stories. Let us now try to write a story. To write an interesting story, we should have characters, at least two. They can be human or animal characters. Next, setting. When we write the story, we should give the reader a clear idea of the place where the story is taking place. Next, plot. Our story should have some events that take place. Now, let us move on to B main. Look at these pictures. Now, try to write your own story. Remember, it has to be an original one. 
you can take ideas from other stories use these prompts to make your own stories here they have given you the hints so using these hints you have to make your own story a little boy wandering in the zoo finds a little tiger cub that has run away tiger cub can talk ask the boy to let it stay with him boy takes it home they become friends but there are problems using these hints now we will write the story what are the problems that the boy could face how did he solve them make your own story remember to write in paragraph give title to the story the title of the story is the talking tiger one day a boy named rohan went to a nearby zoo with his friends on a picnic while the kids were having fun playing football rohan went to buy water as he was feeling thirsty the shop was at some distance and while coming back rohan forgot his way to the zoo while coming back he came across a tiger cub hiding in the bush to his astonishment the tiger cub could speak and asked for his help he asked rohan to get him out of the zoo since he was not happy there rohan felt bad for the cub and somehow managed to rescue the cub from the zoo with the help of his friends he took the tiger cub along with him to his house and hid the cub under his bed soon they developed a bond with each other the boy fed milk and bread to the cub but this could not go for long the tiger was growing and needed enough space and lots of food one day the cub wanted to go outside and play in the park rohan took the tiger cub to the park that day both rohan and the cub had lots of fun playing with other children on their way back home a policeman saw rohan and the cub he was concerned about the safety of rohan as well as that of the cub he took the boy and the cub to the police station and informed the zoo authorities about the cub the zoo officials came and took away the cub with a promise to take care of it and keep it with the other small animals rohan realized that the cub was meant to be in its natural habitat this is the story of rohan and the tiger write this in your class workbook now let us move on to creative writing read this passage carefully i stood at the edge of the market it looked like a battle ground the soldiers on one side were the vendors with their uniform of dhoti kurta and turban each of these soldiers had the weapon of a loud voice and they protected themselves with the scales on the other side were the buyers with their weapons shopping bags and money each side fought well sometimes the vendors won and sometimes the buyers i too had my weapons my shopping bag a list that my mother had given me and my money armed with this i plucked into the battle determined to come out victorious students here the market is considered as battle ground and the seller buyer are considered as soldiers children when you visit the market with your parents how is the scene there it is crowded with humans right here in the story also the one scene is described the people will bargain with the vendors vendors means shopkeepers to purchase something right you will go to purchase there right so my mother handed me money and i got into the battle ground with the list thinking that i will come out of it successfully look at the words that are in bold these are words that are commonly used to describe a battle or war 
but here they are used to describe a market scene when we use words in different context our passage becomes interesting to read let us try writing like this now a list all the action words that you can think of when you think of a river for example flowing surging swelling rushing gushing and so on bustling hastily ceaselessly streamed bumping moving pouring and restless these are the words when we think of a river b now use these words in sentences to describe the scene at a crowded railway station try to use the words as imaginatively as you can the words which are highlighted in the passage those words we have to use to write a new imaginative passage regarding the railway station okay now let us write even at midnight the railway station was bustling with the activity various vendors and too many people were pouring into the station some had come to see off their relatives and friends and some had come to receive theirs i too hastily entered the railway station bumping against the crowd moving in between people everyone seemed restless as the weather was also hot and humid students write this in your class work book now let us move on to page number 154 dialogue writing dialogue writing look at the comic strip given below what are the lady and the bear doing see in the picture the lady and the bear are talking to each other conversation between the two hello what are you doing here you should be in the zoo this is said by the lady she is asking what are you doing here this is my classroom you should not be here you should be in the zoo well ma'am i heard some people at the zoo saying that everyone has a right to be educated so here i am you wouldn't disappoint a poor harmless bear would you so the bear is saying that i heard someone saying that everyone should be educated so i have come here to study i hope you will not disappoint me as i will not harm anyone then oh no what do i do now so the lady is saying oh god what i should do now then the bear is saying so tell me don't i look cool in my new uniform where do i sit what are you going to teach me so the bear is asking to the lady don't i look cool in my new uniform i am looking so nice so where should i go and sit now and what are you going to teach me yes they are having a conversation if we were to write the conversation without the pictures it would look like this teacher hello what are you doing here you should be in the zoo bear well ma'am i heard some people at the zoo saying that everyone has a right to be educated so here i am you wouldn't disappoint a poor harmless bear would you teacher oh no what do i do now bear so tell me don't i look cool in my new uniform where do i sit what are you going to teach me next a put the dialogues given below in the appropriate speech bubbles here they have given you the dialogues you have to write them in the correct bubbles students one i will do for you remaining four write by yourself write this in your textbook itself and the first one is nitin hi ketan i haven't seen you for a long time how are you so i have done for you remaining you do it yourself and next ketan not good at all first there was malaria then typhoid then a car crash resulting in a broken leg nitin my god ketan you have really suffered how are you now ketan oh i'm fine all this happened to the hero of the comic i read next b men write down the words in the speech bubbles in a dialogue form 
here students they have given the which bubbles you have to write it in a sentence now let us write this in a dialogue form boy father is it right to punish someone for something he has not done father of course not that would be very wrong thing to do boy well then my teacher has done a wrong thing she punished me for something i did not do father is that right i will call up the principal immediately tell me exactly what happened boy well today the teacher asked all those boys who had not done their homework to stand up i had not done my homework so i stood up and she punished me c main now imagine a dialogue between these two people traveling by train write it in the speech bubbles here students you can see in the picture the two people are traveling by train and they are talking to each other so you have to write those dialogues in these bubbles i have given the answers write those answers in these bubbles next e main imagine you are playing cricket with your little brother inside the house he swings the bat and hits the ball high it breaks a beautiful glass vase write the dialogue you will have with your mother now let us write the dialogues big brother mother we are really sorry mother what happened my son is everything fine big brother we broke the beautiful glass vase which you got as a gift from your aunt mother how did it happen what you were doing with the vase big brother we were playing cricket in the drawing room and mohit accidentally hit the vase with the ball mother that's okay but from now on don't play cricket in the house it is good that you have accepted your mistake now go and play in the park big brother thank you mother love you bye students i have completed this year's english one syllabus thank you